Hello everyone, welcome back to a new episode of Fae Tactics. Last time we left off, we defeated... What was that character? Ka some, something Kikit. I think it... Because he... Yeah, yeah, it was the leader of the, like, bandit group. We found out that he was actually the prince. Or something like that, so... Yeah. This time, I was gonna do this mission. Here in Ginton, but maybe we... No, this, this one is a boss. I was gonna say we should do this one instead, but this one's a boss. I'd rather do the easy fight and get some extra XP before we do a boss fight, so let's go ahead and work on this. And we also have to have uh, Pichon or Pychon in our party for this. Probably Pichon. I had to guess. Pioni, do you mind if we are stopping here for a moment? Why? What's up? There's something, there's someone I would like to visit. Oh, sure. <laughs> His little run animation. Pokachan, get down from there this instant. Come on, Mama, I want to play. Mama, look. Hi, Sean, is that you? Papa Pyshawn. Papa? Or, whoops. There he is, my little soldier. Have you been taking good care of your mother? Whoa, and you're flirting all over Orwantis? Yes, sir. Good man. And you received the money I sent, Pyrochin. Yes, we have, but I'm afraid we have bigger problems than just money around here. A bunch of thugs have been taking up residence along the river. They force everyone to pay a tariff to access water. The king's men won't come help because they are dealing with the, all the bandits from Abaddon. I would take them on myself, but someone needs to be here to protect Mama. You made the right call, soldier. Hmm. Perhaps we should go meet these bandits, no? You're, you're, you've been flirting with Orwatis this whole time, but you have a wife and a kid? You know I'm down. Wow. <laughs> Jeez, Phaichon. Alrighty. Here they are. Hold up right there. If, if you're looking to use this river, it's gonna cost you. What the hell is that thing in the middle of the river? Why should we pay you? You don't own this river. That's where you got it wrong, pal. This river is property of the Whip Bandits. Oh my gosh, this is a Home Alone reference. This is a Home Alone reference. <laughs> It's a reference to Home Alone 1, where Marv is like, ah, oh, we're the wet bandits, we always leave the sink on in any house that we rob. Because this guy's name is Marv, the other one's... I forgot the other guy's name, but... So pay up or get lost. You forgot the third option, where we teach you guys a lesson. Get rid of these clowns. Kevin. Oh! Oh, but it's Kevin! Kevin, why are you working with the wet bandits? You shouldn't be doing that, Kevin. What made you turn to a life of villainy? How did they corrupt you to join their team? Oh, that's hilarious. I love that. All right, so we got fire. We obviously have fire damage from the cannons. Mostly water, though. Like water, 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 water. And we got some earth and stuff. So, uh, well, it's good against water. Let's see... Wind is good against water, and ice is good against water, and electric is good against water. So... How about... We... Let's see. So... We don't need you. We don't need you. So, wind, ice, and electric. So we can roll with you. We can roll with e You? You don't have a lot of range. Let's do you and you. Sounds good to me. And yep, everything else should be good to go. I don't think I need this max HP increase. So let's instead roll with... yeah, that. Cool, cool. Alright, start battle. Alright, Pychon, this is uh... 
First time you've kind of been in the fight. How much HP do you have? I thought I just saw a lot. Oh wait, no, never mind. Um, you have an arcing attack, don't you? Oh no, you don't. Okay. Um, who is it? Who is it saying you would crit all this character? Okay, well you're just gonna go up to the top of this tree and wait because I don't think that character can hit you from there. And you are just gonna sneak on by. Um, all right, just move up. We're gonna go attack Kevin. Uh, sure. Give Chico some movement speed. Do we have anybody that's ranged? Oh, I forgot to change, uh, Peony's, uh, what's it called? Type. I meant to change her to, uh, electric. Whoops. She's also our only ranged character. So, if I want to take out these barrels at any point, it has to be her doing it. Interesting. Okay. I think I also need to send some people down this way. Oh jeez, you can reach there? What the hell? How can he reach there? Excuse me? That's so far. That is so far. No way, jeez. Okay, um... That guy is apparently an artillery unit. Jeez, what's your range? Five. Just by default. Why can enemy move pretty far? Uh... Plus two, ooh, a mana orb, plus two ultra. Ooh, that'd be nice. Um... Oh yeah, I guess we can also take the barrels out with these attacks. Uh, all right, let's get down here and attack you, I think. All right, you get in there and punch. Wow, that's big damage. All right, and now you die. Goodbye. And I can get whatever card this was. Beasel Bufo. You're hasted? No, you're not. Let's haste you up. So it seems like, uh, Pichon does a lot, and I mean a lot, of damage. But... It, um... It requires him to be in melee range, which is spooky and dangerous. And I don't know how I feel about it. And that's not good, we need to keep you alive. Mm. Oh wow, I didn't realize the enemies could actually level up in the middle of battle like that. It makes sense. I can, why can't they? Okay. That was baby damage, but whatever. Yeah, and you're gonna protect everyone. Uh, damn it, we can't use the... I can't, I can't really do what I want to yet. Um... Let's see, let's just haste you, I guess. All right, and you, I think I'm gonna want to run away. So you're just not in a good spot. And you can protect it. Move back here and then protect, no. Yeah, I just can't reach the bird no matter what. Uh, you can jump in there. No, let's not do that actually, because I'm gonna explode that barrel in a second. So, nope, let's just wait. Um, let's go ahead and haste Peony. She can move super fast. Alright. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and grab this mana crystal for now, and then we can build up another chain. Silence. Huh. I think that's the first time I've ever gotten that status effect. Ooh, thanks for the revenge rocks, though. I appreciate that quite a bit. All right, these guys should go down pretty easily. Especially once I actually make it to the cannons. Don't do it, Kevin. All right, you, you guys are just gonna protect the hell out of each other. Um, yep, let's go ahead and pop this. So we can get in here and kill Kevin. All right, Kevin. 
And dead. Okay, so now you can move up, get that scrap metal, and also get some hits on this character. Uh, if only you could kill this character. If you move there, you're gonna get shot there, right? Yeah. Ooh, you're also gonna get shot. Um, that's not good, actually. That's no good at all. Just have you wait for now. Oh, you gotta re-stealth. Um, let's just have you stealth back up. You lost your haste, but that's fine. You pick up the scrap metal. And yeah, sure, increase your dodge chance. All right, and protect everyone. Yeah, the cannons are gonna be a problem, but it shouldn't be too awful. 43% chance to evade. Oh, and the chain got the explosive barrel. Oh well, more scrap metal for me, I suppose. Cute. And that doesn't really do a lot of damage. So we're fine there. Yeah, go ahead and revive Kevin. I'll just kill Kevin again in a second, don't worry. Fairy's kiss. Uh, don't heal that nerd. Okay, Chico did block it. Good, good, good. Fortunately, Chico is hurting now. Quite a bit. Uh, alright, let's go ahead and cast... You? Yeah. There we go, dead gremlin, and that character is almost dead. You can attack and it'll hit you. And that character is almost down for the count. Alright, and uh... What else do we want to do? Let's get you up here. Maybe he won't attack you. You can kind of get to the boss. You definitely need to execute this guy so he stops getting up. Um, alright, so... Ah, uh, we need the fairy's kiss. Someone. Wait, can this guy reach there? Nope, not quite. Good. Alright, can you... No, nope, you still can't... Why can't we use that? It's Chico's turn. He should be able to use it, right? Okay, yeah, just go and blood fang this character. So that you can uh, stay alive. There we are. Now can we, why can we not? Do you have to use that early on or something? That might be the idea. Oops, no. Move up here and yeah. There we go, we're gonna attack both of them. Hopefully this will kill. Yeah, there we go. Oh yeah, you have taunt. Okay, it's, it's a bad idea to make you uh, it's a very bad idea to make you, like, full attack, because people just taunt onto you. Uh, no. Don't do that. Please don't kill me. You're gonna kill somebody. Okay, no, that was a pretty good amount of damage, but we survived it. Alright, uh... You're dead, sir. You fought well, it was an honor. Boom. Big XP drop, too. Okay, I can kill you. Oh, we can go ahead and use this. So, drop that on Chico. Maybe I have to use that at, like, the beginning of the round or something? I don't I don't know why I'm forgetting that. I was thinking you just couldn't use it as Peony, because Peony's the one casting it, and it's already her turn or something like that? I, I don't know. I'll have to check into that a bit more. Alright, cloak yourself, because you're about to mess that guy up. So what is the range on that thing? Okay, he can't attack you if you're right beside him. So, well, he might come off the gun, which would honestly be pretty ideal. Alright, just protect him. And what's the range on that thing? It can still attack from there. So we gotta move right here. Then we should be safe. Barrier. 
Yep, you're just still shooting for no reason, even though there's a gremlin standing right beside you. That you could easily attack. There we go. Alright, yeah, you... Okay, he can't attack from that range, so move right there. And you can go in and get some pretty good damage off. Of course, so can Powder Jack, so... Well, instead, you can just go get that thing. For now. And you jump in and keep this guy up. Boom, seven damage. Watch out, Gremlin's coming through, dropping the big deeps. Alright, now we can get in here. Can you still shoot that spot? No, you can't. Alright, let's pick up the scrap metal then. We have the time. Oh no, you summoned an ally. And you're also actually attacking me now. Uh, that's no good. Oh boy. Okay, he died. Um... Sure, you revive. There you go, get back up, friend. Alright, rock slide. You're... You would take good damage from it? No, you're Earth. So I guess we just use it on you. Yeah. Boom. Little bit of damage. Alright, just get up there, I suppose. Actually pretty useful that this, this guy's just gonna constantly attack him for now. That taunt is pretty good. It just sucks um, that it doesn't always protect like it does with Chico. Um, let's just move right here and attack you again, I guess. We're, we're doing baby damage. Actually, I probably shouldn't do that because that's building up his ultra. Yeah, that's a bad idea, actually. And there we go. Now we're in here. Now we can get you to attack. You even took out your little friend. <clears throat> we'll take that one out too, don't worry. Okay, I should get the gremlin out of here just so he doesn't die. For sure. Um, who needs to be healed? You, you... I'll see a little bit of everyone. Um, let's just heal you up, Chico, since you're the one blocking over there. Um, all I can do is provide haste and chant to people. There's not much I can actually do attack-wise, but let's move you over here for now. Alright. It would be really nice if uh, you could get in to attack the boss, because you do a bit more damage than Powder Jack, but... You can't right now. All right, Chico, just protect everyone. Yeah, Powder Jack, you're not you're not doing enough damage for this. Just go back here and cloak, and we'll let uh, Pichon get in instead. All right, and you run away, and you're gonna chain, right? Oh wait, no, I don't have chain. I didn't do my weight again. Too easy, I will end this now. Slam. This doesn't really do that much. Yeah, 81 damage. Ow. Oh well, the bird's gonna take him out in a second. No, don't you raise his attack. Not match my strength, I will destroy you. Splash! Alright, that wasn't a lot at all. Good. Um, yep, let's go ahead and pop that. Oh, wow, you're gonna hit everybody. That was big damage to that boss over there, actually. And you... need you to die. Alright, you get in there and attack. Yeah, you do much more. There we go. Alright, Chico, now if you can get across the way over there... That would be nice. Because we all just need to take out this character that's just kind of... Chilling in the corner over here. There we go. Big damage. No, don't buff his attack. He's going to kill my gremlin. Or peony, actually. No, nope, he just killed my gremlin. Oh, well. We don't get the XP bonus for this level, but it shouldn't matter. 
Alright, who do we need to heal? Probably you. Alright, and you get in there and attack. Only gonna do 28 damage. Eek. Just take out this guy instead. There we go. Boom, boom. And, yep, you get up there and protect Peony. Powder Jack, if you could get in, that would be nice. And Soul Nova. Not gonna do enough to kill, but we're close. And that's what matters. He just got a Rage? What is, oh, oh, he automatically got enchanted with that. Okay. Haha! My dog is here now, you'll never defeat me. Uh, not much point in doing that. Yeah, sure, we can do that. 31 damage. He has his Ultra now, but he'll die before, so it doesn't matter. Let's just have you grab that. Um, he's getting up in one turn, so I'm just gonna kill him. We've already- we should have already lost the Subdue anyway, because, uh, we killed Kevin. Marv lived, though. All right, so, wow, that one's four? Why, it wasn't even that good. I don't know, maybe there's something really good about it that I'm just not picking up on. Critical chill kills have a better chance to drop items. Huh, I didn't know that. Peachon, you're back. That was quick. Hi, John. Those guys were nothing special. Just some cowards looking to take advantage of the situation. Papa Paichon is the strongest. See, you didn't have to worry, Mama. That's a relief. The bandits had quite a bit of money on them. It's probably money they've stolen from the other villagers. You should take it and give it back to the people here. Oh, yes, of course. Are you leaving again? Yes, I must go now. Take care of your Mama, little soldier. Papa, wait! Mama, give Papa the thing I found. Oh, you're right. What is that? You forgot these the last time you visited. My lucky gloves. I was wondering what happened to them. I kept them safe for you, Papa. You're the best. All right. Hey, Paishan, why didn't you give them all the money? Keep your voice down. You notice that? I just kept a little. A as payment for getting rid of those thugs. I I'm saving for retirement. Traveling isn't cheap. We need to eat too, you know. Oh, here, Pyrochin. I forgot some of the money was in my other pocket. Oh, thank you, Paishan. Wow, you're kind of an ass to your family. <laughs> like, your wife and your kid. Please be careful out there. Let's just get out of here already. Do you even like your wife and kid? Cards and new equipments, yeah. New equipment. Uh, traits. So let's see what those do. Fire element, triple hit combo, cripple on hit, weight skill, reflex. Huh. So those are the more tanky ones, and these are the more attack-heavy ones, so let's put those on you. Alright, and we also had some level-ups. Attack. Nothing for you. Sure. Alright. So that's that. And let's look at these new summons. Yeah, I mean, you're tanky. You're tanky, I'll give you that. And your attack increases, combo attacks. Yeah, splash. Can swim through water, extra damage in water. Teamwork. Also, assist also affects area around target, does not affect ultra assist. So that's what teamwork does. Okay. 25% chance to curse, weight skill blessed, prehistoric fae that have evolved a mock face on their chest while their actual faces rest on their back. Or watches their back. You're pretty good. Swim through water, gain regen when in water, plus 16 regeneration for self and allies within three spaces each turn is very good. 
and it can guard. Yeah, that's pretty good. If I ever can't use Chica for something, that would be a good tank to put in. Alright, let's eat. What do we got? Rotten fruit? Yummy. Giant peaches? Oh wow, I'm doing well. Um, uh, the other cookie was down there. You were down here? There. And... Uh, boom. Got it. 3 HP plus 10% crit damage. What is that? The cookies? So let's do sweet. 20% extra crit damage. Alright, what can we upgrade, if anything? The hyper barrier belt. Still want to upgrade that, but god, we need so much copper wire. Could upgrade these things. Hmm. Survivability for wounded units, spell power, reveal hidden items. Yeah. I don't, I'm not super crazy about any of that stuff right now, so we'll ignore that. Alright, and that I don't think I'm gonna do, but this other one requires Pyachin, so let's look and see what we could do with that uh, party. Hopefully it's like another one battle. That'd be nice. Oh, we can't do it yet. Why, why not? Why can't we do it? We have to do Raven's Rest? Um... Well, that's not good, if so. I thought I thought maybe we could do this one, <clears throat> even though it was grayed out. If we had Piachin in the party, but no, it still won't let us. Okay, well, we might have to make this episode kind of a short one then, because I can't get into a three-part battle like that. Let's just kind of edit you. Yeah. Mm, what do we want for you? Teamwork would be fantastic on you if we're going to be using you as a mostly a healer, too. Of course, your attacks are also pretty scary sometimes, but yeah. Hmm. No, I think if we ever send Piachin in the battle, he'll probably mostly just be a healer. So what other things could we possibly give you? Yeah, let's just keep you on teamwork. So that makes your assist affect more allies, has greater range, basically. Which might be good. Or we could just, nah, let's just give you the extra move. That'd be really nice. So that's increased geyser radius. What's your complete defense tree look like? Life force plus HP attack and defense. That must be your ultra enchant. Yeah, let's give you that. And then start working on your attack. Alright, well, I guess this is just going to be kind of a short episode of uh, Fae Tactics, because yeah, I'm not going into that mission when I only have 30 minutes left to record here, so... I hope you have enjoyed this episode of Fae Tactics, and I will see you next time.